through five millionaire auditions, Tom Mitchell had landed himself seven magnets, six shirts, and five pencils. Well, while he was thrilled with the giveaways, the call to be on the show eluded him. Finally, on lucky number six, Tom got the call and can now add this check for $2,000 to his kitty. It's a nice one, Tom. It's, it's time to stop collecting souvenirs and, you know, get to the cash. Absolutely, get to the cash, Richard. Enough with the T-shirts and the magnets right. and all of that. I mentioned yesterday that you, you're 72 years old. You're not embarrassed by that. You're proud right. of your age. Right. Last year, you learned how to dive. You're now a master diver. Right. You love adventure, don't you? I love adventure. And, and you work in an aquarium, is that I, right? I volunteer at Shedd Aquarium in Chicago. I'm an aquarium diver. Wow. So I do presentation dives. I dive with uh, beluga whales. Beluga whales? Dolphins, really? yes. Wow. Uh, recently, they just had a, uh, a calf born. And within a week after it was born, uh, I was in the, in the tank with it, getting it, it accustomed to uh, uh, divers in the water with it. So is that the most exciting thing you've done, dive with a whale? Uh, it's probably the most exciting thing. This is probably runs a real close second, Marta. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. So number one is the big whale, and then me. <laughs> well, not it's exactly. me and a whale. I got a, a, but the calf whale is about your size. <laughs> and, and, and much like you. Oh, wait, wait. Maybe I should rephrase Pitch. that. Much like you, much young. Yeah, yeah young, and slimy. Attractive. Right. And attractive. <laughs> You know what? I like you, so I'm not going to hit you. No, Thank I you. I, I appreciate I that. I think you're a lovely guy, Mitch. And not just that, you're a smart guy, too. You already have the 2,000, as I said. You're nine away from a million. Going for 4,000, you still have two lifelines sitting there. And when you get to the $25,000 mark, you will walk away with our Switch the Question. So what do you think? Are you ready to play? Let's do it. Audience, are you ready to play? $4,000. But a cute young whale. <laughs> yeah, they are a real cute whale. The number 666 was famously referred to as the number of the beast in what book of the Bible? Ezekiel, Isaiah, Lamentations, Revelations. Well, <laughs> this looks like a real special. And I think... 666, the number of the beast. It looks like this is going to have to be a phone a friend. No problem. Who do you want to call? I think, I think this is a Ginny question. And who is Ginny? Ginny is a friend of mine from Raleigh, North Carolina. Uh, I met her playing trivia on a cruise one day. Oh, terrific. We're going to get Ginny on the line. Hello. Hey, Ginny. Yes. Hey, it's Meredith from Millionaire. How are you? I'm just fine. How are you? I am great. I'm sitting here with your trivia buddy, Mitch. Yes. And he needs a little bit of help. He's going for $4,000. Oh, okay. I hope I can help him. I hope you can, too. All right, Mitch, you have 30 seconds. Time starts now. Ginny. Yes. Number 666, famously referred to as the number of the beast in what book of the Bible? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. 666 in what book of the Bible? 17 seconds. It's Ezekiel. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll tell you what. I really am not good on Bible studies. I, ah, I, I okay. honestly, honestly don't know. Okay. All right. So uh, no, no thoughts at all, Jen, huh? No thoughts at all. No, well, Bible okay. Is not a strong <laughs> Bless you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> a biblical as I can get. <laughs> well... I think, being this fresh, new audience, that I'm going to ask the audience. No problem, Mitch. Audience, Mitch needs your help. If you're ready, vote now. Okay, 88% believe it is Revelations. Nothing else comes close. Revelations, 2, 4, 6, and 88 had to go with Revelations. Final. 
Good thing you did. You have four thousand dollars. there was a priest in our audience and I felt this was a good sign, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Going for 8,000, Miss. After boasting, they call me the body in a 2006 Victoria's Secret ad, Heidi Klum caught flack for stealing whose nickname? Elle McPherson, Naomi Campbell, Cindy Crawford, Rachel Hunter. Well, Meredith. Yes. Uh, it's been wonderful. It has been. You've, you've treated me marvelously. <laughs> <laughs> In spite of what I called you. <laughs> the toughness of the question that sure had nothing, nothing to do with that. Nothing. nothing. <laughs> I had no control of that whatsoever. Well, you're but a I, nice guy, Mitch. But I what think, are you trying to tell me, though? I think what I'm trying to tell you is yeah. success is maybe our affair is over. Aww. That a, you want to walk? I don't want to. But I think what I have to. Is that a final? Yeah, it's, it's just a wild. Just a wild. All right, yes. Mitch, Gotta I don't know. $4,000 to buy a nice scuba equipment. Let's see what the answer was. It was El McPherson, so now you know. But this is your okay. check for $4,000. Sit there and enjoy it. Not at all. Pleasure to have you on the show. And you folks, don't go away. We'll be our next. California originally, your your husband to be is in New York. He's from right? New York, yeah. So you need enough money to fly the family from California here for the wedding. That's the goal. So we need to get cracking. You yeah. know the rules, you know the lifelines. Are you ready to play? I'm ready to play. All right, let's play. In a dictionary, the term bedroom eyes is commonly given which of these definitions? Confused look, comical look, sexy look. Are the kids asleep? Yet? <laughs> I would have to say C. Final answer. Yeah, sexy. Go for two hundred, Ashley. In the U.S., which of these professionals may claim exemption from Social Security taxation based on religious principles? Farmer, minister, police officer, college professor. Minister. B. Final answer. Yeah, minister. Absolutely. What federal agency has historically worked with animals known as monkey knots? FBI, IRS, NASA, USDA. I'm not going to make any jokes. I'm going to go with NASA. See? <laughs> yes, it is NASA. Going <laughs> for $500. Also known as a chemical peel, an alpha hydroxy peel is a cosmetic procedure that treats what part of the body? Eyes, teeth, hair, skin. Skin, D, final answer. Yes, it is. It's a deal for the skin. <laughs> Go for $1,000. At the age of 12, what fairy tale heroine is taken by a witch and jailed in a tower that has one small window? Rapunzel, Little Red Riding Hood, Goldilocks, Snow White. A, Rapunzel, final answer. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your long hair. You have it. You did what so many contestants do. You just looked at me. Do I have the thousand? Why don't you start playing That's the all game? I wanted, really. <laughs> <laughs> but you, it goes so fast, you're not even sure where you are. But you yeah. have your thousand. Can't leave with less. <laughs> Going for two thousand. By definition, conchology is the collection and study of what natural objects? Pebbles, seashells, tree leaves, bird feathers. Conchology. I said I was happy with the thousand, so I'm going to do it. Um, e, seashells, final answer. I think 2,000 is much better than 1,000. Yeah. <laughs> going for 
$4,000 here. In, uh, in bartending lingo, what did you say you do for a living? I probably won't get it. She's a bartender. <laughs> a drink ordered neat should be served how? On ice, with a twist of lemon, mixed with club soda, with nothing added. Mom, it paid off. This is definitely D with nothing added. Final answer. It sure paid off. You have $4,000. Mom didn't want you to be a bartender? Oh, she doesn't care. Yeah, well, well, good looking. You knew the answer. Go for $8,000. Taken from the Hawaiian term for quick, what word describes a web page that can be edited by many people? Wiki, Kono, Moku, Nanny, or Nani. I think the audience might know this, I'm hoping. So I would like to actually ask the audience. No problem. Audience, Ashley needs your help. If you're ready, vote now. Seventy-six percent believe it is a wiki. Nothing else really comes close. Well, I heard this was the best audience, so. <laughs> Trust them. I'm going to go A, Wiki. Final answer. They are the best audience. <laughs> All right, Ashley, going for $16,000. According to Emily Post, which of these utensils is placed farthest to the right in a formal place setting? Salad fork, soup spoon, Fish for meat knife. You know what? Can I 50 50? Of course you can. Computer, please randomly take away two of the wrong answers. Hey, it's either a fish fork or a soup spoon. I'm going to go B, soup spoon, final answer. You were right. It is a soup spoon. Ashley's gone for $25,000. We come back in that fourth lifeline. The new Millionaire Mobile 2007 game could put you in the TV hot seat. Verizon Wireless customers can download the game for a chance to win. Get all the info at MillionaireTV.com. We are back with Ashley Morgan, who's just earned herself this Capital One check for $16,000. Six away from a million. You still have your phone, a friend. Get this next question right, you'll get to switch the question. Perfect. Okay, you ready to play? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, ready to play. let's Sorry. play. <laughs> All right, Ashley, for $25,000. Since 1990, over one third of all shark attacks worldwide have occurred off the coast of what U.S. state? Hawaii, South Carolina, Florida, California. My fiance watches a ton of Animal Planet, so I'm hoping that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping that he might know this. So I think, um, I think I'd like to call him and ask him. What's his name? His name's Phil. Phil. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to get Phil on the line. Hello? Hi, Phil. It's Meredith from Millionaire. How are you? Hi, Meredith. How are you? I'm great, but Ashley is even better than me. Really? Yeah. That She's sounds going... good. <laughs> She's going for $25,000, Phil, and she really needs your help. Okay, great. Okay, Ashley, you guys have 30 seconds. The time starts now. Okay. Since 1990, over one-third of all shark attacks worldwide have occurred off the coast of what U.S. state? Hawaii, South Carolina, Florida, or California? Hmm. 16 seconds. I'm thinking either Hawaii or North Carolina. South Carolina, babe. Or South Carolina, I'm sorry. One second. <laughs> okay, so now, here's well, the deal. He said Hawaii or North Carolina. And I didn't think South it was Carolina. either one of those. And okay. Well, if you have a gut feeling about this, and you're right, you'll get 25000 but if you miss it... I'll get 1000 You'll only have 1000 You have... You have 16000 I'm from California. 
I don't think it's California. I think it's Florida. I think I'm gonna have to walk on this one. Final? Yes. I know, I know what it is. For $16,000, we'll help with your wedding. The answer, what, Florida. You weren't sure. This is a your thing. Congratulations. I'm sorry. Oh, you can make me feel sorry. You did a great job. strange experience for you, Bill, because you come from a very small town of, what is it, 500 people? Yeah, there's probably more people in the audience than Exactly, <laughs> and here you are with this crowd in, in a very crowded city. How are you reacting to this? I love it. I gotta tell you, you're only 15 questions away from a million, see? See how you're almost there. That's you know close. the rules, you know the lifelines, are you ready to play? I'm ready, let's do All it. All right, let's do it, let's play. All right, Bill, for $100. In order to minimize body impressions, which of these household items should be rotated regularly? Armoire, mattress, ottoman, grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's B, mattress, final answer. Yeah, move that mattress around. Go for 200, Bill. What cartoon dad typically powers his prehistoric car with his own two feet? Fred Flintstone, Homer Simpson, Hank Hill, George Jetson. That would be A, Fred Flintstone, final answer. Yeah, it's all Fred, it is. The 300 bill. Follically challenged is a tongue-in-cheek euphemism for a man who is what? Overweight, tall, bald, unmarried. Uh, I'm working on it. Uh, <laughs> you see, bald, final answer. Yes, it is bald. Going to 500, Bill. Which of these U.S. states lies in the vast farming region known as the Great Plains? Virginia, Kansas, Maine, Florida. Uh, that would be uh, B, Kansas. That would be Kansas. Bill, this is for $1,000. Setter, blocker, and spiker are positions in what team sport? Hockey? Football, soccer, volleyball. I'm pretty sure it's D, volleyball, which is, believe it or not, the big sport where I, where I live, because we're too small to have a football team. <laughs> <laughs> and my son plays soccer, so I'm pretty sure it's not soccer unless they change for grown-up soccer. D, volleyball, financial. It was a wise gamble. You have $1,000 question correctly and you said to me in the break there was something you wanted to say about volleyball in your town you didn't have a chance so here's I, your chance. I forgot to mention that our girls volleyball team the Eminence Red Wings was uh, second in our state even with the tiny little town we have so we got some talent in our town. Congratulations. <laughs> well Bill speaking of talent you are off to a great start you got the first five questions right ten away from the million going for two thousand you ready to keep playing? Let's do it. Okay let's do it let's play. $2,000, Bill. Since 1924, what chemical element has been commonly added to table salt to prevent goiter? Iodine, iron, zinc, magnesium. Goiter. What a great word. Goiter? Like yeah. The Three Stooges kind of word. I got a goiter. <laughs> <laughs> and to keep you from getting a goiter, you use A, iodine. Final answer. It is iodine. You have it right. stop some point, you know? No, we don't. You do, well, you can come back, all right? Okay. You're coming back to keep I'll playing? I'll come back tomorrow. And you folks, please join us then from New York, everybody. Bye for now.